Submit warranty claims in Automotive Cloud. Warranty Lifecycle Management in Automotive Cloud helps dealers submit detailed claims to automotive manufacturers. The claims can include information about defective parts, existing warranties, expenses incurred, and claim stakeholders. The claim adjudicators at the manufacturing company verify these claims against established warranty and service standards, and the company reimburses the dealers for the approved claim amounts. In this video, we look at the type of information that the claim clerks in dealerships add to their claim reports. Claims clerks at Dream Dealers are responsible for maintaining and submitting detailed claim reports. Here are the high-level tasks that a claim clerk performs. Create a warranty claim to reimburse the labor charges, cost of parts, and other expenses incurred when fixing defective parts in a vehicle. Create multiple claim items to record detailed information about each part. Create claim coverages to record information about the causal parts in each defective asset. Create claim coverage payment details to record the labor services, expenses, and replacements made to fix a causal part. Create claim participants to identify the claim's stakeholders. To get started, the claim clerk logs into the dealer's portal for Dream Dealers. The dealer portal is an experience cloud site created from the automotive template. Dream Dealers has recently completed a repair on a customer's car that's covered by warranty. The clerk wants to document all the labor services, replacements, and repairs in a detailed report. She creates a claim of the warranty claim type and specifies vehicle malfunction as the reason. She selects phone as the first notice of loss channel and marks medium as the severity. Next, she creates two claim items for this claim. The first claim item shows details about the engine repair, such as the fault date, repair date, and the related vehicle. The clerk also specifies the engine usage at the time of the fault. The second claim item shows similar details about the head unit repair. The claim item reports that the technician repaired the faulty wiring. The clerk creates two claim coverage records for the engine repair claim item. The first claim coverage is for the engine issue. The clerk selects NeoStrong engine as the causal part and selects standard warranty as the coverage type. She also links the asset warranty for the engine with this record and selects faulty engine as the fault code. For the second claim coverage, the clerk enters the details related to the repair of a cracked crankshaft. For the head unit repair claim item, the clerk creates one coverage record for the faulty wiring repair. Before the clerk creates the claim coverage, payment detail records, she notices the product-related material field. A product-related material record relates a part with the final product. The clerk can use this field to relate the causal part to the vehicle. The engineering managers at Neo Motors have created product-related material records. One record links the crankshaft to the engine. Another record links the engine to the vehicle. And a third record links the head unit to the vehicle. The claims clerk now creates the claim coverage payment detail records. These records capture the claimed amount for each expense. Let's look at three payment detail records related to two different claim items. The clerk creates a payment detail with a $300 claim amount for a broken crankshaft. She selects two as the quantity and labor as the charge type. She creates a payment detail with an $800 claim amount for the faulty engine. She selects one as the quantity and replaced part as the charge type. She creates another payment detail record with a $50 claim amount for the head unit repair. She selects labor as the charge type and selects one as the quantity. She also selects the charge type code related to the head unit repair. The clerk also creates one payment detail of the expense charge type for the engine repair claim item to account for on-site technician visit charges. Finally, the clerk creates a claim participant record to add details about the driver. 
She links this record to the relevant claim item coverage records. She opens the record again and sees that the total claim amount is automatically calculated based on the rolled up claim item amounts. The claim coverages also show the rolled up amounts from the payment details. The clerk changes the claim status to submitted. The claim immediately becomes available for review by the claim adjudicators at Neo Motors. Neo Motors has an automatic adjudication process that validates each claim against a set of rules. Claim adjudicators can also manually adjudicate a claim on the Claim Items tab on the claim record. After the adjudicator adjusts amounts and adds comments to a claim, claims clerks at dealer offices can track the changes from the dealer portal. Thanks to warranty lifecycle management, dealers can now consolidate all claim information and minimize unnecessary follow-ups with claim adjudicators. To learn more, check out these resources or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.